What is going on guys, Josh here, bringing you the next episode in my Infected Hiding Spot series for Call of Duty Ghosts. So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you the spots that I like to uh, um, hold out, or not hold out, uh, hide in uh, on the map Freight. So, um, yeah, last map I covered was Tremor, so if you're interested in finding out uh, good places to hide and survive, in the infected game mode then uh, be sure to check the other videos uh, be sure to check them out so if you come over here right away you can get behind these uh, pallets and barrels in that tall grass and what's nice about this is you are in a very secluded area of the map but I'm sure a lot of people know about that um, being able to go behind those pallets so just be aware of that now if you come over this area this whole like dead end is a little exposed but these crates uh, and barriers do provide actually pretty good cover and uh, like with all spots um, I can't say it enough guys or I can't stress it enough if you have the ghillie suit it's definitely gonna make a difference because you will definitely be able to not only blend in with any like foliage grass leaves other vegetation you would not only be able to blend in with that but if people are just running by not really paying attention in their peripheral vision they just see you as like uh, like your prone body is just some rubble or garbage so if you um if you come over here these spots are actually pretty bad but if you do come over to this spot this spot is better than them mostly just because it's at the farther edge of the map and in fact they're going to spawn near you but they will be spawned facing the opposite way so chances are they'll just keep running and avoid you and uh, blue barrels that's also a um a decent spot uh, so the next spot or the next spots rather I'm going to show you are um they're fairly well, like you blend in fairly well, and in fact they're not going to expect you to be there, but uh, especially this one right here, and you do blend in very well. I do like to use this spot in particular for search and destroy, and uh, as you can see, zombies will not be able to see you as they run past, but you have to remember it's going to be a high traffic area, which will increase your chances of getting, uh, of getting seen by infected players. Uh, as they will be running around you a lot in search of survivors. So this next spot is actually really uh, works really well, I think. And if you come, you can come between these uh, the pieces of wood there and the crates. And as you can see, they're just gonna zombies are just gonna run right past you. They don't e probably don't even know about that crevice. And if they do look in, if you're wearing the ghillie suit or even if you're not, you're covered by the shadow and a little bit of grass. So that'll help and now if you come around this crate you can actually get below this like makeshift wooden ramp and between uh, th this wooden like crate and this giant like box here and uh, just like the other one a lot of people don't know about it and uh, so not only are you going to be protected by like the shadow uh, you're also going to be protected by the li a little bit of vegetation there so this next spot is if you come into this middle warehouse uh, type thing and you come over here into this back room most people don't know about it and if you just climb on here, you're obviously not really camouflaged or anything, but just because of the fact that not many people are going to go in there, uh, they might not notice you standing in the corner there, so that can definitely help your chances of survival. So anyways, that's the end of this video. The next map I will be covering will be Whiteout. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.